We summon our duplicates and uh, summon again. I think our kill. That was the cooldown pill and summon again. Oh, how many monkeys did we summon? But let's check out the how the build is doing. Ooh, okay, that was a one hit for Stone Monkey. By the way, this is NG plus two. Check out how many monkeys we have. The first set disappeared. We still have around 12 monkeys. And we should have 18 monkeys in total and uh, I believe the second set disappeared we still have around six monkeys and there we go so how can we summon 18 monkeys the default cooldown for a plug of many is 120 seconds then we replace our spirit to mother of flames so this will moderately reduce the cooldown for all spells and then we can also put on a Dekna Pendant to reduce cooldown for all spells. Now our cooldown for a plot of many becomes 103 seconds. But this is still a long time for the cooldown. Look at our drinks. We use Slumbering of Beetle Husk. This will moderately reduce cooldown for all spells after we drink. The impairs of movement should be fine. And then in order to reduce the cooldown to zero, we have to drink 12 exactly times. But if we use Supreme Gourd, we can drink 10 times. That's still less than 12 times. Then if we use B Mountain Stone, we have a chance to not consume in the sip. This will give us a pretty good chance to drink at least 12 times. We also use Iron Pellet to not get interrupted while we are drinking in some situations. And then I use Turtle Tear, so after that we can use Cloud Step and also cast the Immobilization. You may ask, we still have a mana issue, because summon 3 sets of duplicates, we need 480 mana. If you look at our current mana, we have 470, so that's 10 mana less. We can use some of the curious, such as Thunder Flame Cell to increase our maximum mana, or wear the Wukong helmet to increase maximum mana. However, that's not really effective. So here is how we solve this problem. We can put on the preservation orb and then use incense trail talisman to reset. After the reset, you can see our maximum mana increased. So now we have 510 maximum mana. So that would be good enough. And then we can switch to auspicious lesson. We still have 510 mana. If we do that, we don't really need the turtle tier, so we can change this one to something else. Maybe critical chance using tiger relic, that would be a good option, or something else. For the rest of the gear, I use Jingu Bang to keep the full focus point. And then Weaver's Lido, the full set of Yakshasa armor set to get 25% increased damage, but we get minus 30% damage reduction. Since we try to one hit or just kill the boss really fast, that is okay for our build. And then for the Ocurious, we use Auspicious Lighten and 3 Beast Buddha to increase critical hit damage and also try Tecna Pendant. Now let's put everything together. We drink a long aura, drink some medicine to boost our damage and also drink this one to get full focus point. Some our first set. I guess I was pushed to the other side of the screen and one monkey goes unexpectedly to the boss by himself but i guess that is fun we just keep drinking 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 because every drink will get a cooldown reduction and now we summon our second set and drink our cooldown pill and summon the third set and cloud step getting in immobilize him and launch our four points heavy charge attack so basically he's done and this is in NG plus 2. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to keep us going. Thank you for watching.